Okay, so I recorded something, and I'm going to have y'all listen to it right now. This is from my brother. Oh, brother, oh, brother. What, could what could I say to bring us to bring closer? closer? What would your what reaction, would your reaction be, be if I sat down, down and expressed to you, to you what real siblings do? do. do. Would you wear a smile of a clown, or gently walk, around, walk around, around, happy that happy you and your sister, your sister now a piece of one piece of You see, brother, I feel like you and I are one piece, but missing very important pieces. We shared the same room at one point, and came after you, which makes me want to follow in your footsteps. But I refuse to follow footsteps I can hardly see. It's like I sleep in the same room as the enemy. We share the same mom and dad, and even though we don't talk much, I know you're hurt too. You displayed it as a generation of life, and I feel like your son has brought little tiny pieces of us together. But what's together is like our hearts are so far apart. But what's apart? What's half of me is hiding in the dark. And what's dark without the light? I see, brother. I'm trying to find the right light to brighten our relationship. But I haven't stumbled over the right set of bad seeds, and nor can I dig through my dignity to find the right way to use my pen to allow you to listen. See, brother, at the end of the day, we are all we got. Yes, we are all we got, and I hate that. We got a sister, brother, can't even tell you what her last name is. Can't even tell you where she stays. You sneak down the note that she plays in your head. Why couldn't dad be a dad and keep us all alive? They say family is important, but you know, like I know, that we don't know what the fuck family stands for. I love you. Yes, brother, we are all we have now. Yes, brother, we are all we have now. Mom's got to live her life, too, my no matter what bridge you're standing at, when you feel like you're about to jump, pick up the phone and call me. If you're about to cry, because all you need is something to listen, pick up the phone and call me. If you're stranded in the middle of nowhere and can't remember your name, pick up the phone and I will track you back to the nation now. Because believe it or not, brother, I will not allow you to drown. The sad thing is about this, brother, is you have a problem that's too big for you to admit. So until you fix it, for you and I will never have a healthy relationship. But something's been bugging me. Oh brother, I should have saved you before it was too late. I should have caught you before you took the enemy's hand. I should have let you know it before you hit the ground. I should have never let mom cry in those lonely nights when she was worried about you. When I was taking care of your son, I should have told her everything was going to be okay. But I had no words to say. So I let you step out, not realizing it was too late to save you. But mom needed to cry so that she could let go of the guilt she felt inside. Always blaming herself. We never even once told her you were sorry. But I allow mom allow to forget about what's bugging about me and concentrate on you, missing the fun we both never had. I know you think that's not your problem, but you and I both know it is. And I know you remember all the words that were said from mom to dad, all the times mom tried to drag us out of the car when it wasn't her weekend. So don't think you're hard, because I remember counting the tears and ran down your cheeks. You had an eternal day to me, the beauty and the beast, and tell the 13. That's how well That's dad kept up with us. Thinking we were just gonna all just be his babies. And remember every time we would see him. You say how big we are. Probably because he never learned how to keep up. He never learned how to love his problems. That's why consistency is a very important key in my life. Because I've never had consistency. And if you want to grow, brother, you gotta learn how to let go. And the key to success is preparation. Learning that nothing can be handed to you, brother. You gotta work until your fingertips become torpid. Almost until you can taste the blood from deep down inside your soul, you gotta search for the better parts of you. Step outside your element and you boot yourself as deep as I know what your weakness is. You think you're stupid. But what the fuck does stupid really mean? We're all God's children, so we are all as smart as we can be. Never let anyone tell you that you can't do something. Let me stop, brother, before you get too carried away. Cause you and I both know that I'm far from perfect. I'm perfectly imperfect because this is how God made me. So therefore, I'm everything that He created me to be. So why would I ever let any other human being put me down? I'm trying to make you understand that the silence is the loudest sound. So I hope you don't find it crazy that night. I can't sleep. Cause all I can hear is you screaming to be found. I'm looking for my brother. Loneliness hurts, but you see, it's also good for you. So if you have any information, please let me know before it's too late to create a bond. Brother, brother, brother.